Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we are talking Vaseline, petroleum jelly in skincare. I think of all of the ingredients we find in our day-to-day -day skincare, petrolatum is probably the one that's most hotly contested and debated. You have people saying it's a fantastic addition for locking in the hydration to the skin and for smoothing out the skin's complexion, whereas the detractors will say it's potentially carcinogenic, it's bad for the environment, it can clog our pores and break us out. I feel sometimes a little bit baffled and overwhelmed by all the science that's out there, and I kind of want to take it back to basics. Simplify everything down and just break down the pros and cons of using petroleum jelly in your skincare routine. So sit back, relax, and let's talk all things petroleum jelly. Now, before we get into this video, I want to issue a bit of a disclaimer. I know there's a big difference between the trade name Vaseline, petroleum jelly, and also petrolatum, which is the other term used. I'm going to use these interchangeably throughout this video. It's not because I don't realize there's a difference between them, but I think, again, sometimes we can get too fixated on the terminology, on the science, when really we just want a quick fire video that can help us, the skincare aficionados, kind of work out whether an ingredient is right for our skin type and safe to use in our skincare routine. I also want to give a huge shout out to the Facebook group because a link left on that Facebook group, Mad About Skin. I'll leave a link to it below if you do want to check it out in more detail. I actually inspired this video. I thought reading through that link, oh, this is such an important topic as there's so much misinformation out there that I kind of wanted to translate it into a video. I'm going to leave a link to that link below as a courtesy to the authors. And I would definitely, definitely recommend that you check it out. And a big thank you to the guys over on the Facebook page for always sharing such amazing information and inspiring me to create content here on YouTube. But with all that waffle out of the way, shall we just cut that and delve straight on into it? I think the most common thing called out about using Vaseline petroleum jelly as part of your skincare routine is it's comedogenic. It'll clog the pores and break you out. This is something I believed for years. And as someone with oily, acne-prone skin, I was always very, very wary of using any product that had petrolatum listed on um, the ingredients list. Obviously, really reaching for petroleum jelly in general. However, if you read over the studies that have been done over the past couple of decades, it is categorically proven that um, Vaseline petroleum jelly does not clog the pores. It's non-comediogenic. However, it's not always as simple as that. I'm not a huge believer in comediogenic versus non-comediogenic because whilst looking at an ingredient in isolation can tell you a lot of things, you actually need to see it alongside the rest of the formulation in a product because you might have a non-comediogenic product that reacts with a comediogenic product in a different way and that can create different reactions in our skin. So I don't really just like to take it as simplistic as that. Through reading some of the research, including the paper that I've listed below, I think what the issue is for people reaching for Vaseline petroleum jelly when they have oily acne prone skin is that whilst it's not comedogenic itself it can create a film on the skin which also can heat up the skin itself and this can make some comedogenic ingredients that might be in the rest of your skincare actually more comedogenic in the long run. Hopefully that makes sense and this is really what I wanted to get across that whilst petroleum jelly, petrolatum, Vaseline itself is not comedogenic it can react and interact with other um, comedogenic ingredients in your skincare routine to cause a problem. This is why I say it's absolutely fine to use Vaseline petroleum jelly on acne prone skin but I do so with caution because anyone that's got persistent and active breakouts knows that once that starts it can be really difficult to dial it back so I'd obviously recommend patch testing and kind of use it in caution. This is why I never recommend slugging which is why you put a thick layer of Vaseline or petroleum jelly over the rest of your skincare as the last step before you go to bed. This is great for some skin types but for people with oily acne prone skin like myself I do find I wake up with extra oil levels in the skin and I'm more prone to breakouts. So that's just my personal experience. Now, the second thing that people do call out is that petroleum jelly is bad for the environment. It's oil derived and it's really something that we shouldn't be reaching for if you're conscious about the environmental impact. This is absolutely true. Whilst we said the claims about clogging the skin were false and dubious at best, this one is absolutely true. There are some synthetic alternatives on the market now, but they're few and far between. And so if you're worried about the levels of um, petrolatum in the world, if you're worried about the environmental impact of the ingredients that you use, I would say petroleum jelly and Vaseline is probably a firm, firm pass for you. There are some alternatives out there that you can research, but they're really difficult to get hold of. And in my experience, they're ruinously expensive. So I I think if environmental impact is your primary concern when you're looking for shopping skincare, this is probably an ingredient that you're going to want to avoid. And now let's talk the third thing which people often call out about petroleum jelly and that is potentially carcinogenic on our skin. I think this is a total myth and I think it's perpetuated on the back of some other misunderstandings in the past. If you use crude oil and some of the compounds that are found in crude oil and its refinery processes, they can be carcinogenic when released onto the skin. However, we're not talking about putting crude oil or even any of its refined byproducts on our skin. Cosmetic 
grade petroleum jelly has anything removed from it that could be potentially carcinogenic. And so it's absolutely fine and safe to use on the skin. So this is one of those myths that's really easy to bust. You might choose to not use it because you don't like the feel on your skin. You don't like the environmental impact. That's all absolutely fine. But don't not reach for petroleum jelly because you're worried about it being potentially carcinogenic. This is a myth that I think had really good basis, but is based born out of a misunderstanding of some of the science in the past. Overall, what are my thoughts and feelings on petroleum jelly? I honestly don't think it's the best product and ingredient to reach for. This is coming from someone who has oily, acne-prone skin. I don't really like the texture of anything greasy on my skin because I feel it's just adding to the grease. Whilst I know it's not, psychologically, that's something I can't get over. However, if you have very, very dry skin, it can be one of the best occlusives on the market. An occlusive works by literally forming a film on the skin which traps in all of the moisture. This prevents trans-epidermal water loss, which is where moisture from the skin is lost into the atmosphere. It can be one of the leading contributors for dry skin. So if you have dry or combination dry skin, then using an ingredient which contains petroleum jelly could be a really, really great addition to your skincare routine. I think it all comes down to personal preference. If you're looking for some alternatives to petroleum jelly, studies have found that ceramides, if used regularly, actually have an even better performance when it comes to preventing trans-epidermal water loss than pure Vaseline or petroleum jelly does. So don't feel if you can't reach or you don't like to reach for petroleum jelly that you have to miss out there are some really great ceramide options on the market and i'll link a video i did up there talking about some of my favorites it's definitely worth considering whether you need it in your routine and if you do which ones you go for hopefully this video has kind of dispelled some of the myths that are out there but i do really really want to hear from you guys because all of this is based from my own personal experience and i think when it comes to your experience with petroleum jelly it will all come down to your individual skin type so please sound off in the comment section below whether you're an absolute total fangirl for petroleum jelly and use it every single day or whether you've had some negative reactions to it and it's not something that you would personally recommend i'd love 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 to hear from you while you're down there don't forget to do all that youtube stuff give this video a big thumbs up and a like because honestly it supports me and the channel so so much and i would love you forever wherever you are in the world guys stay safe stay well i love your skin take care bye